Hello again my friends, look what we have here, the gorgeous Destiny 2 menu screen, which can only mean one thing, the beta is ready to preload, and I'm going to talk you through this later in the video. But before we do that, welcome to Vostok. Now if this looks familiar, that's because it is. This is the Iron Temple social space from Rise of Iron, but it's been repurposed as a crucible map for Destiny 2. Now there are two ways players are probably going to react to this, the first being good lord, yet another reskin, the second being sweet, we get to fight in a social space from Destiny 1. Now whichever side you fall on, Bungie revealed that this is the only map in Destiny 2 that revisits a location from Destiny 1. Now IGN released 20 minutes of new PvP gameplay, some of it showing some pretty interesting changes. What I'm going to do is pick out all the tasty little highlights and then after that, like I said, we're going to talk about the Destiny 2 beta. So then, let's begin. First up, some new striker gameplay. Now let's kick things off with a crisp shot from one of Destiny 2's new sniper rifles. It's got a really satisfying satisfying meaty sound to it. Next up, a great example of how the Titan's towering barricade can block off routes and cause real problems for attacking enemies. And here we see the new roaming fist of havoc in action. Now you can cover some serious ground with this thing. I know I'm going to have a lot of fun trying to clock up as many kills before my super meter runs dry. Now it may have lost the brute power it once had in Destiny 1, but it more than makes up for it with its deadly new roaming capability. And check this out, the striker's shoulder charge is no longer a one hit kill. In this gameplay, it only knocks out the enemy's shield. Now whether this nerf shoulder charge remains intact for the final build remains to be seen. Next up, some new sentinel gameplay. Now let's have another look at a couple more kills from that tasty new sniper rifle. A nice quick zoom and low recoil will no doubt prove very useful in the crucible. What do you sniper experts think? Leave a comment below and let me know. Next up we see that the sentinel subclass has a void wall grenade, nice. We're now going to look at a titan barricade showdown. Now the titan playing now activates his tower barricade and he's actually fighting against another titan who puts up a rally barricade you're about to see that in just a moment the rally barricade as you can see there is a lot smaller now you may not know this but you can actually take down any barricade that a titan puts up and you're about to see this in just a moment as you can see the rally barricade shatters after it's been shot to shreds so there you go a barricade showdown expect to see a lot of this in the crucible next up we're going to see a sentinel take on a dawn blade spoiler alert titan master the race. So after the Sentinel activates his super, what follows is a bit of a kerfuffle, with both the Sentinel and Dawnblade finding it hard to land the killer blow. It's all a little bit hectic, but the Sentinel finally lands a strike and shuts down the Dawnblade. Next up, a little more Dawnblade action. Now as you're about to see, activating your Daybreak super in midair gives you a really good view of the action, and you can pick off any Guardians scurrying below. I also really like how your Daybreak projectiles bend into your target, which means you don't have to have pinpoint accuracy to score a kill, but if needs be, you can also fire sword projectiles from the ground. Right then, let's now talk about the Destiny 2 beta, which you can preload right now. I'm going to talk you through the process, and then we're going to look at Bungie's weekly update, which reveal some pretty interesting beta details. So then, if you pre-ordered Destiny 2 from a retailer, like Amazon or GameStop for example, you'll have received a 9 digit early access pre-order code that looks like this. Enter this into Bungie's code redemption portal, like you see here, and click enter. You can now click the redemption history link that will take you to your redeemed codes page on Bungie.net, and from here, you select your platform and region. For me, that's PS4 in Europe. You'll now have a 12 digit beta download code that you can redeem by logging onto your PlayStation 4 or Xbox One, so let's go do that. So then go to the PlayStation Store and find the redeem code page, then enter your 12 digit beta download code. You'll then be able to preload the Destiny 2 beta so that you're all ready to go when the beta finally launches. PS4 pre-order players get to play first on July 18th, Xbox One pre-order players get to play on the 19th, and then the beta opens up for everyone on the 21st, yes, even if you didn't pre-order the game. And the beta ends for everyone July 23rd. Now, if you digitally pre-order the game, accessing the beta is a lot simpler because there's no codes to mess around with. Simply go to either the PlayStation Store or Xbox Store, search for Destiny, and select the Destiny 2 beta, and hey presto, you'll be able to preload it. Now if you have any other questions at all about the beta, I've linked Bungie's official beta guide in the description box below, well worth checking out, lots of useful info there. There's also a link to the code redemption portal just in case you have an early access pre-order code from a retailer that you still need to redeem. And check this out, Bungie's latest blog post reveals that as well as all three new subclasses, Sentinel, Dawnblade and Arcstrider, you'll also be able to play as the updated Striker, Gunslinger and Voidwalker subclasses with all of their grenade and melee abilities 
but only one of their skill paths. Bungie wants to save that second skill path for the full game, so yeah, the bait is looking set to be pretty tasty. Personally, I'm most looking forward to the Sentinel's throwy shield thing. That looks fun. If you've got a Captain America fetish, this is the subclass for you. And there's more. Bungie teased the new Crucible HUD. Check it out. Enter the crucible to fight. No, enter to dominate. To crush. To conquer. Show me what you've got. And we ain't done yet. Kate Six wants a piece of the action. Hey, you two. Give me a sec. Zavala's doing the hero thing in the plaza. Me? I've got a date with whoever's behind this. It'll be a short date. So yeah, lots of info to take in. Now guys, I was actually looking through my PlayStation library of games and I saw something that gave me a bit of nostalgia. I've got the first look alpha for the very first Destiny game. I've also got the beta for the very first Destiny game and the game itself obviously. And now I have the Destiny 2 beta to keep all of those companies. So I'm really looking forward to this. This is a huge deal for Destiny fans like myself. I cannot wait to start playing. And guys, if you were wondering exactly what you can play during the beta, well, let me quickly run through that for you now so you get to play one campaign mission just one the homecoming campaign mission you also get to play two crucible game modes that's countdown and control you also get to play the inverted spy strike and get this for one hour only on July 23rd, you get to mess around on the farm. That's Destiny's new social space. For one hour only, like I said, it starts at 10 a.m. Pacific time on July 23rd, uh, which is 6 p.m. UK time. And if you play the Destiny 2 beta at any time while it's live, you get an emblem. So there's a lot to look forward to. You get to play as all six subclasses as well, which is really awesome. Cannot wait to play as the Sentinel. So yeah, I think that'll do it for this video. Now guys, if you like these longer detail kind of videos, you can show your appreciation by giving the video a cheeky little thumbs up. Papa Console will really appreciate it. You have been killing it recently with your support, so thank you so much. And if you want to watch some more Destiny 2 content right now, click this image. Thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe for daily Destiny 2 content, and thank you so much for watching. And as always, hee hee hee. Until next time, Guardians.